Okay, let's answer a question. The jungle blanket XL, how long is it? And could you use it as a sleeping system with an inflatable mattress? I.e. Trichology UL80, how would that work? Um, yes, you can buy really expensive blankets, some of them costing hundreds of pounds, hundreds of dollars, and you know, how effective would it be? Well, this summer, uh, I've, it's not been great weather in the UK, but it's not been terribly cold. Um, so I've been using this in my uh, hammock, which I've tried a couple of times, and in my tent. Um, and I've got away with this. Good thing is it's very light. Um, I'll show you what I do. If you don't do, if you don't have some sort of thing on, you're going to sort of uh, lose the blanket in the middle of the night and wake up cold. So yeah, very simple mod. Just using some short cord. Um, it's the buggy cord stuff. Okay, so tie the ends into a box, a couple of straps at the back, and off you go. I dare say you could actually uh, stitch some straps or use some Velcro or something. But, uh, this works for me, and it's simple. Very lightweight solution. Jonker blank is 900 grams. UL8 is about the same, so very light. And a little Trichology pillow as well. So uh, let's turn it over and see how it looks. Okay, very simple. Just some short cord. Give me enough time to stretch out. Obviously, do what you think best. Uh, leave some bits in the end if you want to tie another blanket on. If you have two, I've got two, a normal size and an XL. Um, I just folded this over, bunched it up, um, does the job. Uh, allows your feet to breathe a little, stops them sweating, and uh, keeps it there nice and neat. So, uh, does the job. Uh, and if you already have these, it's a very cheap solution. It's much better than having the blanket loose, I'll tell you. Okay, let's get in there and see how it looks. What I like is, uh, I don't like sleeping bags very much. So unless it's really cold, I'll stick with a blanket. I, I don't really like sleeping on my back and feeling confined in there. Okay, let's turn over and have a look. Okay, there's the thing, let me get into it. Um, I'm not small, I'm maybe 5 foot 11. 95 kilograms, so uh, not the smallest of units. So uh, this gives me loads of room without um, being cold. It's about 13 degrees per day. Get in there, see how it looks. Let's okay. run again. Slide the blanket up so it doesn't come off, which is the ideal of the bungee cords. And yeah. Job done. Loads of room, I can turn around. Okay. See. Plenty of room to bring the blanket up as you want. I'm not talking the middle of winter, I'm talking sort of summer autumn camping. You see, these can go down to four degrees. I doubt that. I really think sort of eight to ten max. Depending on what you're wearing is, you know, etc. Um, then I start to look at a sleeping bag. These little trichology pillows are great. They weigh next to nothing, and they really give you they're nice and wide. Um, the strap goes round the uh, the mattress here. Uh, they really do a good job. Don't cost much either. Same with the trichology uh, mat. If you sleep on your side, they, they don't bottom out, so you're not on the ground. Again, this will take you down to uh, autumn temperatures. After that, I haven't really tried yet, but a lot of people just put a reflective mat on the ground, etc. I'm not one for actually sleeping on the ground cowboy style. Uh, you get ticks and stuff where I live, so uh, either a hammock or a tent. Uh, there we go. So yeah, loads of room. Went around to turn over, turn your back, do whatever you, you sleep. Without being confined by a mummy sleeping bag. Yeah, so these are cheap, less than 30 quid for these blankets. Which colleges about 40 pound. And the, uh, I don't remember how much this pillow was, or 15 pound. Uh, but yeah, complete sleeping system. Certainly two, three, two, three seasons. Yeah. Job's done.
Okay, hope this helps someone. Let me know in comments if it does. Because it was one of the questions I had when I bought this, is how, exactly how long is it? And, you know, does it cover you enough? Yeah, it does. So it's wide enough under the, the blanket, under the, the pad rather. And uh, it doesn't pull for you when you're on the on here because the, uh, the weight of your body and the pad is keeping it in place with the straps. So yeah, the first time I done this, I uh, I found that the blanket was slipping off because it's quite shiny material. So uh, ad hoc in the middle of the night, I rigged up some uh, some cordage. But yeah, after that, I just cut some short cord to size and yeah, job done. Okay, hope this helps.